everyone. Welcome to IPM Leap. Today we are going to discuss words which have repetition of letters. In permutations and combinations, we are often asked to calculate the number of ways in which such words can be arranged. There could be several question formats related to arrangements of letters belonging to such words. We are going to take the example word Mississippi for today's lesson. Once you have understood this concept, you may practice some more questions on the other word independence. So let us begin. These are some of our other lessons on permutations and combinations that are already there on our channel. And you may revise your basics with the help of these. I especially recommend that you watch this particular video on the permutations of the word education because in this word, none of the letters is repeated and we have covered all possible arrangement scenarios in depth. This lesson will help you gain a better understanding of today's concept. Okay, so for a start, let's revise one word where there is no repetition of letters. In how many ways can we arrange the letters of the word Friday? As you can see, this word has six different letters and when we arrange them, they will together occupy six different places. So let us suppose these are those six places. The first place out of these can be filled in six ways because we have all six letters available. Once we fill this place, one of the letters is gone and then the second place can be filled in five ways. After filling the first two places, two letters will be used up and the third place can be filled in four ways and so on. For the last place, we will have only one letter remaining. Therefore, by fundamental rule of counting, these six places can be filled in 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. That is, six pictorial ways. And there are as many arrangements possible for the letters of this word. In general, n different items can be permuted or arranged in n pictorial ways. But we need to understand that it's a different scenario if some of the letters are repeating. Let's take a simple example to illustrate this. Supposing we have three letters, A, B and C. There are three factorial, that is six ways possible for arranging these three letters. These six ways are A, B, C, A, C, B, B, A, C, B, C, A, C, A, B and C, B, A. Six ways. Now let us repeat one of these letters. So for that, let's replace letter C with the letter A. In how many ways can the letters of the word A, B, A be arranged? Now if, I, if we count our possibilities, there is A, B, A, there is A, A, B and there is B, B, A. That's it. Only three possibilities. This is because earlier, when the letter A and letter C could interchange their positions in two factorial ways, now the two same letters, two letters which are like A and A cannot be interchanged. And therefore, effectively, our number of arrangements which was three factorial gets divided by two factorial. And the total number of arrangements thus possible is only three. Three factorial upon two factorial calculates to three. In general, the number of permutation of n things taken all at a time in which p things are alike of one kind, q are alike of the second kind and r things are alike of the third kind and rest are different is equal to n factorial upon p factorial, q factorial, r factorial. Keeping this in mind, let's try out the following question. In how many ways can we arrange the letters of the word Mississippi? Clearly, in this word, letters are repeating. So our first step is to take account of all letters and how many times they got repeated in this word. Letter M comes only once. Letter I comes four times. Letter S also four times. Letter P comes twice. So 1 plus 4 plus 4 plus 2 is equal to 11. Quickly tally the count from the original word. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11. 11 letters in all. So we have to arrange 11 letters out of which 4 are I's. 
so they are alike. Four are S, so they are also alike. And the third kind, two of them are P's. Using the formula, the number of possible arrangements of this word will be 11 factorial upon 4 factorial, 4 factorial, 2 factorial. Moving on, let's introduce a slight variation in the same question. The question is, in how many of the distinct permutations of the letters in Mississippi do the four S's come together? Okay, so we have already done the math for this word. These are the letters and the number of times they are repeated in the word Mississippi. For the four S's to come together, we can group them into one single unit. Now, apart from this group, how many other letters do we have? We have M, four I's and two P's. So that means one plus one plus four plus two. That is eight independent units to be arranged. Out of these eight units, four are alike of one type. They are the four I's and two others are alike of another type, the two P's. So number of arrangements possible will be 8 factorial upon 4 factorial, 2 factorial. This calculates to the number 840. One more very important question that is often asked for such words is, how many four-letter words can be formed by using the letters of the word Mississippi? So for solving this question, we have to first select four letters out of the given word, which has 11 letters. Clearly, the four letters that we select need not be all different. There could be various other possibilities. Like, I can select two of them alike and two of them different. Once we have a clarity in our mind about what four letters we have selected, then only we can determine the number of arrangements of those four letters. So let's try listing all possible scenarios or we can say cases. The first case would be all four letters different. We have four choices of letters M, I, S and P and for this case we would need to select one each. So four letters out of which we need to select all four and draw one uh, and draw out one of each. This can be done in 4C four ways. This calculates to the number one. Always jot down a sample of your selection. So in this case we have M, I, S and P. It's the only possibility. Now when we come to arrangements of these four letters, these are four different letters. So they can obviously be arranged in four factorial ways. Together we can perform both operations, that of selection and next the arrangement of selected letters in one into four factorial, that is 24 ways. Case number two would be when we have selected two letters alike and two different. For selecting the two letters that are alike, we have three choices. Those two letters could be the two I's, or we could have the two S, or else we could have two P's. So the letter of which you draw two units could be any one out of these three, I, S, or P. And therefore, we can select this letter in 3C1 ways. Let us suppose we select I. Then we have to draw two I's from this list. Now we need two other letters which are different. We cannot draw the letter I again. So I's are ruled out. We have three different letters M, S and P of which we need any two. We can select two different letters out of these three letters in three C2 ways. So this time the sample looks like I, I, M and P. Total possible selections calculates to 3 into 3, that is 9. Further, we can arrange this sample in 4 factorial upon 2 factorial base because 2 letters out of 4 are alike. So the selection and further the arrangements of these 4 letters can be done in 9 into 12, that is 108 ways. Moving on, our third case would be two letters alike and two others alike. We have a choice of three letters which are repeating. So we can select any two of them and this can be done in 3C2 ways. 
Let's suppose we selected S and P. We draw two units each. So our sample looks like SSPP. This sample can further be arranged in four factorial upon two factorial, two factorial ways because two are alike and two others are alike. Therefore, we can select and then arrange the four letters under this case in three into six, that is 18 ways. Our fourth case of arrangement would be three letters alike and one different. Two of these letters have four units each. We can select any one of these, which can be done in two C1 ways and draw three units of that letter. Say we draw three I's. Now we have to choose the one different letter out of M, S or P. This different letter can be selected in 3C1 ways. 2C1 into 3C1 is equal to 2 into 3, that is 6. After the selection, we can arrange these four letters in four factorial upon three factorial ways because three of them are alike. Together, both operations, selections and then arrangements can be done in 6 into 4, that is 24 ways. And the last possibility is if we draw all four letters alike. Four letters are available only for the letters I and letter S. So we select any one out of these two. 2C1 ways, that is two ways. For example, we may select S. The sample looks like SSSS. These four letters can further be arranged in only one way because all four are alike. So four factorial upon four factorial is one. Therefore, two arrangements are possible for this case. Total number of possible four letter words from all five cases is just a summation. 24 plus 108 plus 18 plus 24 plus 2, which calculates to 176. Now I'm sharing my notes for the example word independence so that you may try out on your own. If you have any doubts in these questions, feel free to post in the comments box below. Find the number of arrangements of the letters of the word independence. We repeat the exercise for counting letters and number of times they occur and cross tally with the original word. There are 12 letters. Then we apply the formula N repeated three times, D repeated twice and E repeated four times. So we divide 12 factorial by three factorial, two factorial, four factorial. In how many of these arrangements do the words start with P? So we fix the letter P on the first place, which can be done in only one way. The remaining letters can be arranged in 11 factorial upon three factorial, two factorial, four factorial ways. In how many of these arrangements do all the vowels always occur together? As we did earlier, we group all vowels into one unit. Now we have 1 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 plus 1. That is 8 independent units which can be arranged in 8 factorial upon 3 factorial, 2 factorial ways. We divide by 3 factorial, 2 factorial because 3 of them are alike, the letter N and two others are like the letter D. But let's not forget that corresponding to each of these arrangements of the eight standalone units, the five letters within this group of vowels can be arranged in five factorial upon four factorial ways. So we have to multiply by this number and doing the calculations, our answer calculates to 16,800. In how many of these arrangements does the word start with a vowel? So if the word starts with a vowel, it starts either with the letter I or with the letter E. So we add up our arrangements for these two cases. And finally, in how many of these arrangements do the words begin with I and end in P? All we have to do is fix I in the first place, which can be done in only one way. Then fix P in the last place, which can again be done in only one way. For all the letters in between, we do the counting again. 10 letters of which three alike, two others alike, and the four E's are also alike. They can be arranged in 10 factorial upon three factorial, two factorial, four factorial. So that's our answer. That brings us to an end of this video lesson. If you enjoyed watching this video and found it useful, 
Do press the like button and subscribe our channel for related content. Here is a glimpse of other maths videos on our channel. So keep watching and take care. Bye-bye.